Hi guys, and welcome back to another Dot Race video, and today we're going to be talking about MotoGP21's latest update. So as you can see on screen right now, Juan Mir, the world champion, does have his brand new Mir with the number one at the, on his back. The helmet has been updated, and of course the Suzuki now features more Monster Energy logos, included with the new Estrella Galicia 0.0 sponsor spot. So that's good that the new helmets are in the main top class with MotoGP. Now Alex Rins as well has his updated helmet, and of course even the great Valentino Rossi no longer using his testing attire, he has the brand new helmet that he's using for this season, he has the, di the different colours on his left leg and his right leg all updated, so it's great to see we're getting these updates, Lord knows we needed them, it's been quite a while since the start of this game, and of course even Frankie Morbidelli has his helmet with the flowers on, and even his liveries has been updated as well, so of course updates is what we've been waiting for. We've got a, a lot of patches still to come to fix this game, or to at least put it to 100%. Now, don't get me wrong, the game is still awesome as it is, but we want to be playing with the latest bikes, the latest riders, and everything up to date. So thankfully, this update makes a great start. So now taking a look at if you want to use your custom rider with the MotoGP machines. Now, previously, all these bikes were actually wrongly displayed. So they had last year's bikes, and as you can see, just a very quick brief look, you can see they're all up to date now. The LCR Castrol Honda was the last year's bike, the Prama and Ducati had the different sort of bike on it. It still looks fine when you actually play it, but the updated sort of displays and the uh, rider figures and display models were all incorrect, so it's pleased to see that has been improved. And now looking at the patch update as well, it did come with three new patterns for the custom suit, so there you go, fourth pattern, fifth pattern and sixth pattern are all brand new. Personally for me, I won't take advantage of this feature because I very rarely use custom liveries and custom bikes. However, once the junior team and I start using that, I will then implement different sort of styles, liveries and colours. So maybe in the future when we move up to Moto2 or MotoGP, potentially I'll start a junior team in career mode. Awesome stuff, we now have the updated pictures for all of the riders, so Marco Betzecchi here, Celestino Vietti and so on. Now, of course, every single rider's picture has been updated, so from Moto2 to Moto3. I'll briefly show you all the images now, so they do match up with the MotoGP real-life schedule. They all have the exact same display photos, which is awesome. So, of course, I wouldn't want any sort of different one. We would like it to keep it as realistic as possible. But, however, there are some negatives, and we will be seeing that in a moment's time. Now, in a moment, you're going to see Sergio Garcia, Ethan Guevara, Jamma Masia, Pedro Acosta, Gabriel Rodrigo, and Jeremy Alcoba. They are all updated images, however the bikes are not updated. You probably see the same thing earlier with Sam Lowe's, but unfortunately the bikes aren't updated. The bikes are still last year's models for Moto3, which to me is really disappointing. That was the main thing I was looking forward to. Pedro Acosta still has no current helmet. Jamma Masia's helmet is still a very bland, blank one. And of course, it's a little bit disappointing. I do appreciate that we have new things, but... I can't help to want a little bit more. So I guess we'll just have to wait a little bit longer. I really wanted to use our race winner Sergio Garcia's brand new liveries as well. Same as Ricardo Rossi's, he's still using the Skull Tag Rider from last season, opposed to this year's bike, which is a bit of a shame, of course. And of course, the Gabriel Rodrigo one with the uh, Comalin Grassini team, it's now the Indonesian racing team, of course, is still out of date. But we're making great strides, you know, we will get there in the end. I'm looking forward to it, but unfortunately for me, I really wanted to use the updated riders before we move up to Moto2, and to be honest with you, I don't think that's going to happen. I think the Moto3 update will probably occur as we move up to Moto2. So taking a look at the patch notes, there is a new riding help feature in the race options, and that is a long lap penalty assist. Now, for me and quite a lot of other YouTubers and a lot of other riders in this game, we're particularly annoyed with the fact that the long lap penalty is sometimes automatic, or at least semi-automatic. It kind of takes the feeling away of doing it yourself. But that is now a thing of the past, since you can either have it on or off. I will definitely be keeping on manual, but if you're not a fan and maybe you have a little bit of difficulty getting into the long lap penalty, then you can change it to automatic. For the virtual photographers out there, rejoice because there is a brand new added camera angle feature. It basically gives you the same sort of camera angles that we had in Ride 4. And I imagine you guys will be taking advantage of that feature a lot more than I will. But guys, I guess that is going to conclude our 3.8 gigabyte patch update review. Positive stuff so far, but of course it's the first of many. 
We're bound to get many more to fix all the other things we want. Just got to stay patient and fingers crossed they'll be done soon. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment and subscribe if you did. Plenty more content coming this week, especially as career mode. So stay tuned and stay ace for a lot more content. And upon that note, guys, thanks for watching and ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.